I have a second channel, Cube Comp MTDX. Hey everybody, so here we have the Trash AM2 system, and I have, uh, of course, in the previous video, made it a little less terrible. It no longer runs the Simpron 3600 Plus CPU. It now has an Athlon 64X2 4000 Plus processor and a slightly faster hard drive. So it's got a Western Digital 160 gig hard drive in there versus the Seagate 250 gig it used to have. And I did a video running Windows 10 1507 on this machine and then reinstalled Windows 10 with 21H2. And I had ran performance tests between the two and compared features between the two. And I figured, since I had put Windows 11 home on this thing for a different video, be a good opportunity to do, actually do a little test with this one. Um, so what we'll do is we're going to start this one up, complete the out-of-box experience setup, let everything sort of iron out. I will have to install one driver, though, for the graphics. And then what I'll do is I'll run a simple... Uh, startup test on this thing, see how long it takes to start up. That way, um, y'all can compare that with the uh, Windows 10 1507 and Windows 10 21H2. So that being said, let's go ahead and start this thing up. Got to turn it on first. Now I should mention that was actually the uh, fast startup since I did a shutdown, a proper shutdown last on it. Yeah, this little animation here takes a really long time to load because, well, the graphics driver is not installed. So, when you don't have a proper graphics driver, then, uh, you know, things like this will happen. That's because the engineers at Microsoft just assume that, I guess, every computer you install Windows 11 will already have drivers out of the box. Just for the same reason that with Windows 11 Home, if you don't run the uh, script in command prompt to bypass the network sign-on, you may end up stuck in a dead end should your computer be missing drivers for the network adapters. So I'll run through this right here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and locate the driver for the graphics. Okay, so we've now got the driver installed for the display. And I'm going to close out Device Manager. So now we got just Task Manager up. So everything's sitting pretty much idle. And you can see our resting memory usage now is 64% of 2 gigabytes. So if I recall correctly, 1507 was using 26% uh, of 2 gigs of RAM just sitting idle like this. Clean install, not hooked up to the internet. And I want to say 21H2 Windows 10 was using about double that. And you can see Windows 11 
21H2 using a little more than that. So that being said, let's go ahead and uh, do a restart on this and then we'll get my clock ready here, my stopwatch. Gonna do just like the previous videos. That being said, go ahead and restart. And this will be a regular startup, not the fast startup. And since we have no network connectivity, we shouldn't have to worry about it installing updates. I'll consider it done when the taskbar loads. Alright, so minute 38 seconds about. So if I remember right, Windows 10 15 or 7 was 44 seconds, something like that. Can't remember the exact time of the uh, Windows 10 21 H2. What I'll do is I'll go back and look up the time for those two startups and I'll include them here in the video. So that way you can compare between Windows 11 and Windows 10. Now, another thing I should mention is the uh, Windows 10 test I was using Pro versions of Windows 10. This happens to be Windows 11 Home. So, I mean, Windows 11 Home may start a little faster than Pro. Can't really say for sure on that, but... So that concludes the uh, testing of Windows 11 on this system again, uh, doing a little startup test to compare the timings and uh, a basic RAM usage with Windows 10, 15.07, and 21H2. So anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Well, everybody, that wraps up for this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to your channel and be sure to tick that bell so you get notified when new videos are posted. Also, don't forget I have a whole lot of other interesting videos here on the channel to check out. And also, in addition, I have a second channel, Cube Comp MTDX, where I have all sorts of other videos not exactly related to technology. Links to the channels are available at the end of this video. Again, I thank you for your support and thanks for watching this video.